Hello everybody and welcome to another video. This is going to be a very useful one because I am over here indexing what are the most valuable resources that you can use to understand what is Dash, Plotly, and get your head around the more advanced starting from basic over here so you can kick ass in what is uh, the most powerful front end graphing framework within Python. This is a very interesting project and I wanted to give you as many resources as possible. So with that, this quick video Video, we're going to just run through what are the resources that I have indexed that you can refer to to get your head around what are complex topics. So let's get started. First place you should be looking at is, of course, the Dash documentation. They have so many things outlined in regards to what is Dash, Dash tutorials, getting started, Dash callbacks, getting your head wrapped around all of that, and a bunch of open source components and libraries that you can start referring to to build out what are your dashboards. Now, there is so much value out of just understanding the documentation of any package, and that's the first place you should definitely look. Outside of that, one of my favorite people in this space is Anne Marie. Anne Marie is a avid contributor to what is Plotly and Dash. She has a bunch of tutorials and useful resources that you can refer to to get started. So with that, I'm just going to dive into some of my favorites. I've already made a video on this, but Dash Bootstrap Explorer is a really great resource for you to change what is Dash Bootstrap components and to take it to that next level so that you can style something that doesn't look basic. There are a bunch of different themes that you can go in between, and this is a good starting point for you to have something that is stylish and professional looking. Outside of that, she has also built out what is an example index of some simplistic apps that you can start to build out and that you can refer to as far as graphs that you can bring into your dashboard. What I have over here is a huge uh, repository of a bunch of different projects and you can click on any of these and it gives sample code that you can refer to so that you can get started and so that you can get your head wrapped around what is a graph, how to bring it in, and how to work with these different components so that you can get the most value out of building out your dashboard. Highly recommend checking this out along with everything else and it's all going to be in the links down below. Now, I can't get enough of Anne Marie over here, so here we go again. One of the really great things that Dash implemented in 2.5 is the use of pages. You have the ability now to not host everything in what is your app file, which could get complicated and it can confuse new people in programming. The best way for you to build out anything is to compartmentalize your work into different sections. This is where Pages has so much value and it brings Dash into this evolution of really being a front-end framework worth using. As you can section off your code independent of what page you're trying to render to the front end. So now you can have what is your home page, you can refer to an app gallery, you can refer to a documentation page, you can really take it wherever you want. And if you're trying to get your head wrapped around pages, there's no better repository right now to refer to than Dash multi-page app demos. Go to this and go into the code and create a code space off of what is GitHub. GitHub gives you two free code spaces. You can use them, you can delete them, and you can reuse them. Make sure that you have one that you're using Using on this so that you can get an idea of how it all works. Anne Marie did an amazing job of outlining all the different concepts that are involved with pages and how to use them effectively. So use this as a resource to build yourself up. The next thing that I would like to jump into is my favorite new up and coming front end just design. All right. Bootstrap is amazing, but let me tell you this main time takes it to a whole new level. The guy that is working on this project has done just a professional job from building out the components, getting a community around it and what he has done in the documentation. It just speaks highly of himself as a programmer and an innovator in the space. And we're happy to have you here. So, with that, uh, he has the best date picker I've ever seen within Dash. Uh, you can go over here, you can select multiple date ranges as you can see over here. I can just say that I need from the 10th to the 14th. So as far as scheduling is concerned and trying to build out more advanced stuff, this is a really great resource to refer on and to have something that is stylish and professional looking. This will really set you apart from the competition. 
So with that, let's go back into the OG and styling and creating what are front end components, we have to go to dash bootstrap components. I've talked about this uh, previously in prior videos, but it deserves another rendition of what is an amazing package. This has been the first one introduced within dash, and it has a lot of value in setting up what is columns, making sure that your app is rendered appropriately in desktop versus a tablet versus what is mobile. So with that, the documentation is really clean you can go into components over here and building off of what is Anne Marie's work as she has a cheat sheet for this and a bunch of other resources if you look in the description down below you can really create what are professional applications so I'm just very grateful to have this as a resource that I refer on in every project that I'm building out the next thing I would like to jump into is a smaller front end component uh, styling that has a few useful features that you might want to bring into your project. It doesn't have the documentation like these prior ones do, and it isn't up kept like these other ones, but there are still some notable mentions in the components that it has built out. What I have in front of you is uh, Dash uh, Materials, which is a project that is building off of an existing React uh, library, and it's ported it into Dash. What you have is the ability to use a bunch of different components that you will not find in other areas, and it could be the right one for you. So I highly recommend checking this out, and although it doesn't have a repository for you to look through documentation, I have set up what is a easy app.py file that you can use and it will give you insight into the different components that are offered and that will be in the links down below. Next thing that I would like to talk about is Django Plotly Dash. Django Plotly Dash is the first one to integrate what is Django and Dash. They are an amazing repository to refer to as they have the capability to bring these two powerful frameworks and connect them together. They do that through talking to the CRM of Django and it creates what are these Dash applications within Django that allow you to present what is these dashboards on your Django application. It's the easiest solution and it is the right solution for most people. More advanced ways of integrating Django and Dash are coming up as I am experimenting in this space as I am a competent programmer in both Django and Dash and I'm experimenting in new stuff as I've articulated in other videos. So look out for that as there is a lot more that we can expand into and in what is this powerful setup. Next thing I would like to jump into is another component library. Uh, this is Dash Trick Components. There are some useful gems in this. It has the only carousel that I've seen. It has some really nice cards that I have used in the past. And it has what is this really nice nav bar that works very well within mobile development. So you might want to just bring this in as it's an easy solution for some underlining components that would really make your application um, easier to work with and it could show some value. So the next one that I want to jump into is a new project that I am actively contributing to. This is Dash Main Time and Dash Bootstrap Building Blocks. It is a great repository for sectioned off uh, snippets that you can bring into your Dash application that other people have contributed as far as this is what I built. You know, I broke it down so that you just have the nav bar. I broke it down so that you just have the card and you can build off of that and you can build your own project a lot faster than having to do everything yourself. Take the work that other people have set up in front of you and then alter off of that because then you can bring in what is the best practices and you have a referral point so that you aren't lost in the development process. The next thing I want to talk about is, of course, well, myself. Check out my GitHub down below. I am releasing information on this, and it will continue to expand as I explore and talk about more Dash um, and Django concepts. So this is a really great resource, my GitHub, my YouTube channel, and the blog and applications that I have been releasing. Lastly, the best place for you to ask questions and to get more insight into more complex topics 
is the Plotly forms. They have a really great and professional form that you can refer to. You can ask questions. You can look through what other people have asked, and you can get an idea of where people have struggled, how they have solved these problems, and it's a really great place for you to start the conversation and to go back and forth. So with that, I wanted to keep this really simple. I wanted to give you as much insight into what is this powerful framework to give you an indexed version of where I have found the most value out of other people's work. You can start using these different uh, websites and these different projects as a referral point and a starting point for you to expand what is your own development. And I hope that you find this useful. If this was a good video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in what is the next one.